I think that thinking that there is some deeper reality is, going, is probably going to suffer from the same sort of issues that would apply to the, the one that you no, is normally taken to be reality. And, and I, it seems to me, in terms of the impact of these things, I agree with you know, your motivation and the sense of, yes, we should be scared of a world in which people um, uh, free wheel with accounts which um, are not thought through and which uh, are internally incoherent and which um, don't work very well. For sure, we should do that. Um, and uh, in, in the current situation, I'm constantly wanting to point to the value of looking, looking to see whether this account, this closure, this model, this narrative of the world works. And, and pointing out, as Donald would say, where it's not working, looking for the failure. So I agree with all of that, but I also want to point to what seemed to me as a structural function of closures, which is that they fail. They're not the same thing as openness, and they always fail. Whatever the closure is, whatever your account is, it will fail, including mine. And that is something to understand about the nature of what it is to think. When we think things, we don't arrive. We, we have a vehicle to try and do something, and if we start looking at it more closely, it won't work. And when we find it doesn't work, we, we modify it. We try and add something to it. We try and make it work better. We keep on doing that. But we, we never the idea that we'll arrive seems to me to be the mistake, and indeed the danger, because people go to war over thinking that they've arrived. So there is a consensus about this notion of what works, and we, we try to achieve a theory or conception of the world, or whatever you might want to call it, that works. But what decides that whether some a theory or a view works or not? It is the world, not us. No, it's not another theory that decides. It's our interface with the actual world. The world, we bang our head against something when we have uh, an incorrect view of the world, and that it is that that determines what works or not, and, and surely you should agree with that. Well, I, I think that this, the notion it's just correct or incorrect, I don't think that... No, it just that works. No, let's talk about well, works. It's, it's an important <laughs> shift in the vocabulary, isn't it? Because the works is, do we find it a way that helps us achieve our goal? But is it correct means that somebody is wrong and somebody is right. So I, I, I rather say, well, which vocabulary is going to work in this situation better? Um, there will be, if, we, if you stick to one, one way of holding things, you can always support it. You can always find ways to support your view. We all know those people who have sort of fairly mad views and they'll support them. Some of you will think that it's me. But, but, but we, can we can find ways to support those, those, those views. We can always do that. That doesn't solve the problem. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI TV.